Hey friends and welcome back to my channel, Organized with Joy. As usual, this is my monthly decluttering and minimalism collaboration that I host the last Monday of the month. And I actually started sharing on my own these declutter with me's uh, probably over a year ago. And then I asked some friends if they would like to join and then I kind of transitioned it into decluttering and minimalism um, just because I feel like they kind of go hand in hand. And to be honest, I thought that my decluttering would slow down. <laughs> but here I am into month six of the year and I still have a lot to show you. I was kind of concerned that I wouldn't really have enough for this video and I would have to come up with a different idea, different content for this month's video. But here I am once again with a pile of stuff to show you. So I will have a playlist linked in my description box below if I have some friends joining me this month, sharing what they've decluttered or sharing their own spin on this decluttering and minimalism collaboration that I host. And let's get into showing you everything I decluttered for the month of June. Before I jump into showing you everything I decluttered, I just thought I would mention, because it's been a while since I've mentioned this, in case you're wondering, why am I standing in my laundry room? And that is because that is where I put everything that I'm going to declutter. I actually have this little basket that I keep on the counter in here. And every time I find something that I no longer need or use, then I just put it in this basket. And it's actually, our laundry room is right next to the door that goes out to the garage. So it's just a convenient place. It's like one step closer to leaving my home. So that is why I always do these declutter with me videos in my laundry room, in case you were wondering. But um, you know, a lot of this stuff is from the kitchen and I don't particularly know why I have more stuff from the kitchen than other places in my home. But either way, I will get started with first thing, two items actually. I am replacing them because they are broken, kind of. So I have this hand mixer, which honestly, I feel like I only bought a couple of years ago. <laughs> but uh, these are the only attachments that we have left because the other attachment, like the normal one, like this is the, the is this a dough attachment? I don't know, this spiral attachment. Um, the normal hand mixer attachment, it broke relatively quickly after owning this thing. Um, I don't know how to describe it, but like the piece, the metal pieces just came apart. And then um, the other thing that I've been wanting to replace is my immersion blender. And if you follow my, my cooking channel, which by the way, I have a cooking channel too, it's Cook With Joy. Um, I think the last couple of times I've used this on camera, I've mentioned how I need to replace this. Well, I actually found an item that would replace both. We were doing okay with the hand mixer, just using those spiral attachments. I do have a KitchenAid mixer as well, so that was working fine. But because I found this product that is dual purpose, it can be an immersion blender, but it can also be a hand mixer. It is um, from Ninja. I decided to go ahead and get rid of both of these and replace it with the one product. Okay, next up, I actually have a whole set of these. Um, these are mason jar lids. I recently purchased, uh, it came in a pack of 12 uh, quart size mason jars for storing food and or for using for drinking out of. Um, I do not like these lids. I don't use them for canning. I just use them for storing food. So I actually have these white plastic lids that um, you can order on Amazon that are for mason jars. 
Um, so I just go ahead and dispose of these because it's kind of a pain to like have to make sure the two pieces are staying together properly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of those. And then next up, I have these European dishcloths and I'm primarily getting rid of them because I have had them for quite a while and they have seen better days. I could replace them, but for now, I'm not going to replace them. I notice I have not been using them as often to clean um, more recently, so for now, I'm just not even gonna replace them. I have a coffee mug that, as you can see, <laughs> has seen better days. I think it wasn't supposed to go in the dishwasher, but yet, we did that, so that's gonna go. I have these random two little like suction cup feet that go on the bottom of our the base to our blender but they actually broke off if you look closely at the top of this you could see that it's actually broken um i was gonna try to gorilla glue them back in there but honestly it's fine we still have two suction cup feet and that seems to be working just fine to hold it steady when we're using it. Next up from my kitchen, I have a supplement that I was taking for a period of time and it's actually almost gone, <laughs> but I stopped taking it a few months ago and so I decided I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it. I also am getting rid of these, I guess they're sandwich bags, I don't know. I purchased them to use to um, throw away compost items. We have a compost bin here in Austin. One of our trash bins is a compost bin. Um, but I found it very difficult to get the food actually into the bag because <laughs> I would have like a bowl with all my compost stuff and then in the evening I would just like put it in the bag but it was just really arduous to get it all in the bag without making a huge mess. And we don't pack lunches anymore, so I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of these. Next up are sev several manuals. I don't even know why I keep these. Why don't I get rid of these immediately with the packaging to the products? I don't know. I guess I think, well, maybe I'll read it before I throw it away. No, no, I don't. Um, if I don't know how an item works, usually I'll go watch a YouTube video on how it works. But here is just an FYI, you can usually find most of these user manuals online. Um, you can go to the company, look it up, but I had purchased a new um, coffee bean grinder, so that's one. Um, we had to purchase a new faucet, I've got that one. And then I do have this Ninja Foodie, the mixer, slash immersion blender that I was telling you about. I have the, um, it has like a recipe booklet and then instructions, um, but we pretty much figured out how to use it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of all of these things. Um, I wasn't even sure if I was gonna include these because there are times when I immediately just go ahead and get rid of user manuals, but for whatever reason, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I stick them in a cabinet and then a couple months later I'm cleaning out the cabinet and like, why did I keep these? But anyway, those are going. Next up, y'all. Oh, this kind of pains me for sentimental reasons. And that's really the only reason I was keeping this cookbook. Have any of you all ever had this cookbook or do you currently own this cookbook? If you were married back in the 90s, you might own this cookbook. <laughs> I think I got it for my wedding um, and I did use it honestly for many many years of our marriage like before I mean the internet was always a thing since we've been married but it just wasn't as prolific as it is now it is so easy to find recipes online and there were a few things that I still would like open this for but honestly I feel like even those few things, I could find that recipe online. I might even be able to type in Better Homes and Gardens recipe and then type in the name of the recipe that I'm looking for. I bet I could find it online. So I have decided to just go ahead and get rid of this. I do still own two cookbooks, both of them of which I probably don't use all that often, but I, am ready to let this one go as far as a sentimental item, even though um, the other two, like I said, I don't use all that often. But uh, 
yeah, this one, I think I'm just, I'm ready. It was time, I'm ready. Lastly, from the kitchen. Um, please do not judge me. I purchased this kind of as an impulse buy. I was at uh, the container store purchasing something totally different, and I saw this thing. <laughs> Um, it has suction cups. You can put it against the wall. You can put it like in the bath on the bathtub wall if you're going to give your dog a bath. It basically distracts your dog while you need to do something. And um, it was like marketed. You put like peanut butter on it and they lick it off. Um, my dog has to get eye drops. He has issues with his eyes and he used to fight it a lot. But honestly, he does not fight it as much anymore. I guess he's getting used to it. But I said don't judge me because we actually never used this item. I had good intentions and when I saw it, I thought it was a fantastic product, but I didn't use it. So here is your permission to give yourself grace, to forgive yourself when you buy things that don't work out for whatever reason. Um, because that's what I'm saying to myself that, you know, I had good intentions when I purchased it, but it just didn't work out. Okay, friends, I have two more items left. One is this um, lingerie laundry bag, and um, I actually just replaced this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this old one. It just had seen better days. And speaking of something that has seen better days, the last item that I was going to share with you is this pool towel. It um, it got a hole in it somehow. Not really sure how, but to be fair, these pool towels are fairly old and I feel like we have plenty. Honestly, we probably have like at least eight pool towels, but it was good to have a lot on hand when our kids were young because they're fr we have a pool in our backyard, in case you didn't know that. When our friend, when our friends, when our kids' friends would come over, um, we would always like to have extra pool towels on hand in case you know they didn't bring one of their own. So now that our kids are older, their friends aren't coming over to swim, it's not as highly necessary to have a whole bunch of towels on hand. So I'm not gonna replace it. I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it since it does have a hole. Okay friends, that is all I have for this month's decluttering and minimalism collab. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything that I decluttered this month and I hope that it gave you some inspiration to look around your home to see if there's anything that you could get rid of. And don't forget to check out that playlist which I will have linked in my description box below. And as always, thank you so much for watching my video all the way until the end and I will see you next time. Bye.